Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a, b, this is equal to 10. Let's call this equation 1. We have b times c, which is equal to 20. Let's call this equation 2. And we have c times a, this is 30. Let's call this equation 3. So the question is what is a plus b plus c? Now, solution from here. Now, the first thing to do here, let's multiply equation 1, multiplying by equation 2, multiplying by equation 3. So, this is the same thing as A times B, B times C, and then C times A. And this is the same thing as 10 times 20 times 30. So, in this case here, we have A squared multiplied by b squared, multiplied by c squared. That is c times c, c squared, b times b, b squared, a times a, a squared. This is equal to... Now here we have 10 times 20 times 30, and this is 6,000. Now to solve for the value of a, b, and c, we have to introduce square root on both sides. So that now here, a times b times c, this is the same thing as square root of 6,000. So we can express 6,000. We can express 6,000. This is the same thing as, let's get the LCM here. 6,000 divided by 2, this is 3,000. 3,000 divided by 2, this is the same thing as 1,500. 1,500 divided by 2, this is 750. Then 750 divided by 2 here, this is the same thing as 375. Then 375 divided by 3, this is 125. Then 125 divided by 5, this is 25. <coughs> then 25 divided by 5, this is 5. Then 5 divided by 5, this is 1. So this is the same thing as... 2 to power 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 to power 4 times, this is 5 squared, times 3 times 5. So that now, this implies that we can express 6,000 as 2 to power 4 times 5 to power 2 times 3 times 5, which is 15. So let's substitute this. So this implies that a times b times c, this is now the square root of 2 to power 4, this is the same thing as 16, times 5 to power 2, this is the same thing as 25, then times 15. So now, if you have, if for instance you have the square root of a squared, this is the same thing as a to power 2 times a half. So this implies this is the same thing as a. So this follows that here, we will have square root of 2 to power 4 times a half times 5 to power 2 times a half, then times 15. And this is the same thing as 2 to power 2, because here we simplify, this is 2 times, this is the same thing as 5, then times square root of 15. So, this is 2 squared, which is 4. 4 times 5, this is 20. We have 20 square root of 15. So, this is what is the value of A, B, C. Now, let's calculate the values of A, B, and C. So, if you recall here, we have that A, B is equal to 10. B, C, this is equal to 20. And C times A, this is equal to 30. So following this, we can start by calculating the value of C by substituting AB. AB is 10 times C. This is equal to 20 square root of 15. Let's divide both signs by 10, by 10, so that C is equal to 2 square root of 15. So this is the value of C. Then we move to calculate the value of B. Can calculate the value of b here given that a times c this is equal to 30 so we have 30 times b this is equal to 
20 square root of 15. So, dividing both signs by 30, we have the value of b as 2 square root of 15 divided by 3. So, this is the value of b. Now, let's solve for the value of a. We have that b times c, this is 20. So, we can have a times 20. This is equal to 20 square root of 15. By dividing both signs by 20 here, then we'll have the value of a equal to square root of 15. So this is the value of a. So we have the value of a, we have the value of b, and we have the value of c. So the question is, what is the value of a plus b plus c? So let's solve this as follows. Now here we have a the value of a equal to square root of 15. We have the value of b equal to 2 square root of 15 divided by 3. And we have the value of c equal to 2 square root of 15. So now let's let's determine what is a plus b plus c. Now this is equal to square root of 15 plus 2 square root of 15 divided by 3 then plus 2 square root of 15. Now the LCM here the LCM here remember square root of 15 is our number so is over 1 and 2 square root of 15 so it's also over 1. The LCM here is 3 so 3 divided by 1 is 3 then 3 times square root of 15, this is 3, square root of 15. Then plus 3 divided by 3 is 1, 1 times 2 square root of 15, this is 2, square root of 15. Then plus, here we have 3 divided by 1 is 3, 3 times 2, this is 6, square root of 15. But since square root of, in the numerator here, square root of 15 is common, we can factor out square root of 15 so that now here we'll have 3 plus 2 plus 6 then all this divided by 3. So here we have here we have square root of 15 multiplying by now 3 plus 2 this is 5, then 5 plus 6, this is 11, divided by 3. So this is the same thing as 11 square root of 15, divided by 3. So now this is the solution to this algebra problem. This is the solution to this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. And subscribe now see you in the next video bye bye